Assalamu alaikum students today we have lab number 6 which is covered by KCMS activities number 23 and 24 in this lab uh, you are supposed to practice uh, the DQL statements data query language statements actually we have select statements in this lab and you all are required to practice these statements so we have already studied this uh, dql and you know that we have select statements in dql and in the theory class we studied and also practiced some examples of select statements in this lab you all are required to practice various queries on Sakela and Northwind sample databases. You have already studied about these two databases in our theory classes. Uh, with this lecture you will find a manual attached and that manual is marked as lab number actually in this manual you will find some example queries and those queries will be according to our theory class so uh, you will need to practice similar queries on some databases like Sakela and Northwind the attached manual for our lab number six has a sample table and some queries are given actually these queries are used to extract some data from this table in different ways so in this lecture I will let you know that how can we use the example queries on our sample database that is Northwind database. So the first query is to get the data for all attributes from the table and also apply a condition by using a where clause. Actually we have select static means all the attributes will be selected from the product table and where the condition must be category equals gadgets so we, we will apply a similar query on our Northwind database in our workbench so here we have the Northwind database along with some other databases so the first thing is to select this Northwind database so here I'm typing use name of the database and control enter so this database has been selected now this one has been highlighted now I need uh, a table for our example query so let's try that query on the customers table so here uh, let me check that what do we have in the customers so I must type select static from customers and control enter we got some results actually there are some attributes and under each attribute we have some values so the query which uh, we saw in the manual had a where clause and it had static for all the attributes so we must apply a where clause in this case so here I am typing where uh, job title equals owner so we we are applying this where clause with a condition 
actually uh, we, we we use uh, this where clause for conditions so inside the condition we have an attribute and its value so uh, if the job title is equal to owner then that value will be displayed actually values for all the attributes will be displayed where the job title is equal to order so i'm going to execute this statement control enter this one got executed now here we have some tells from the table and if you look into this attribute all the values are owner a similar query can also be applied on implies table so let's check what we have in the implies select static from implies control enter so here we have the result and it has some attributes in it so let's apply the condition on SETI so here I'm typing where the name of attribute is CT CT equals to and this one is CT execute it control enter now we got the result for this query so similar query can be applied on different tables and we can also apply similar query on other databases too next we are having a condition for a numeric value actually uh, in the example query we are checking the price if it is greater than 100 then display the list of some attributes we are not using static here we are giving the names of some particular attributes so we can also apply similar query in our northwind database so let's check this orders table select static from orders here we have the result now we can write a query to select some particular or specific attributes from this list so here I'm typing select the shipper ID shipper ID comma shipper name from the table name is orders and the condition must be like uh, shipping fee is greater than or less than or equal to something so here I'm typing shipping fee greater than greater than five now this query will give us the list of shipper ID along with their name from orders table and the value for shipping fee in each tipple must be greater than five so here we got the list and the shipping fee for all these is greater than 
file we can also include this shipping fee in the list now control enter again and here we got the results in each tuple the value for shipping fee is greater than file actually there are 12 results we can also make it in some other way like this now the shipping fee will be less than file so control enter and now here the results show that these shipper id and shipper name have shipping fee less than file next we have the like operator in in this manual uh, the p name is used inside the where clause and with this p name like operator is used as you know that like operator is used to get some similar values actually we give some options for the values like here we have percent sign which means that anything then gizmo this is a value and after that percent sign so the possible value set would be any value that has gizmo inside it can be started with any character or combination of characters and can also end with some characters but in between there must be gizmo so we we will also apply uh, such type of query in uh, the northwin database let's try the implies table so first check what we have inside the implies select strip from implies control enter so here we have some tuples uh, let's apply the like operator on last name so here I'm typing where last name like I say that any name that starts with N so where last name any name starting with starting with N and after that any character or combination of characters so this query will give us the records of implies where the last name is starting with n so control enter here we have only one record starting with n we can also apply similar query on some other tables like here we have customers so let's check the customers select strike from customers control enter and here we are going to apply this like operator on first name so i must type where first name like here i say any name starting with a so a and then pass in sign control enter so here we get the list of whose name are starting with a now if i say that the name must start with a n control enter so these are the names starting with 
a n suppose i need delays whose name are ending with s h so percent sign any character a list of characters and then s h control enter so there is only one record starting uh, sorry ending with s h in the first name next we have distinct operator uh, we can get the distinct values of an attribute from a table by using this operator so we can apply this operator on these tables to so first check the customers table so here if you look into the job title you will find owner owner purchasing representative purchasing manager actually the values are repeating there are many owners many purchasing managers and many other values repeating so if i type it like this job title from customer so these are the job titles now if somebody asks us that uh, we need uh, to give them the list of job title so definitely we must give a list with non repeating values so for that purpose we must use distinct operators so simply type here distinct and then the job title the attribute name from table it is distinct control enter so these are the job titles none of the value is repeating now in the list next we have the order by clause this is used to order the results according to the provided attributes so here this select query will give us some results from the product table and those results will be ordered according to the price primarily and then if two prices are same then the p name will be considered so we can also apply this ordered by in some other tables here uh, let's check the customers table and apply this order by on last name if you look into the result these values are not alphabetically ordered so we can get a result in ordered form so here we must type order by last name control enter now these results are ordered we can also apply this order by on some other attributes too like i can apply it on first name the business phone job title etc and also we can apply the where clause in this statement where let's say city equals to portland so here we will get the list of customers whose city is portland and that list would be ordered according to their last name so execute it we have only two values for this query both have 
city equal to Portland and the list is order according to the last name I can also uh, convert this to the descending order by simply typing DSC here just after the uh, attribute name so now it is starting with A and then E so if we use DESC it would be the inverse it would start the first name would be starting with E then the last name would be A dear students in today's lecture I showed you that how can we use the example queries given in the lab manual on some other databases actually we applied these queries on northwind database so you are required to study the attached lab manual and also study the previous theory class and do practice the sql statements given in this lab on some databases like Sakela and Northwind. Thank you.